How's it going once again guys and welcome back to Dead Rising 3. Last time we were together we gave that guy over there, Hank, a load of propane tanks and explosive materials and he blew the shit out of himself which, I, I don't know, there's a lesson in there somewhere. Don't be a crazy man and don't try and blow up the world basically because he was mixing accelerant in an RV and that was just going to cause problems and it did because he blew up and killed himself. But it was still kind of funny. So anyway, what are we going to do today? I think the first thing we should do is take out that. Because that thing is very noisy. And we've killed it like a boss. Actually, I'm going to turn that down a bit. Because on the TV, that's coming out very loud. Okay, so where are we going to go? I'm going to equip the pole arm, though, just because I can. And I think before we move on, I'm going to investigate that, that zombie mansion. That one there, well, investigate the zombie mansion. It's not really exactly investigate the zombie mansion, it's just investigate the mansion, but, you know, zombies gone wild and whatnot. Which sounds like some weird kind of college party. <laughs> Zomb zombies gone wild! <laughs> I'm not seeing some weird DVDs. No, that's, no, that's, that's a weird, possibly, strange, incredibly weird. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> oh, God, he's on the side of me. All right. So, what is the easiest way to get there? And I like how we're back in a van again. Vans just seem to be the easiest thing to take down zombies. Because they're so durable. Go. Oh, was there another one of those? I think there might have been. Is there? Yep, there is. There's another one of those things over there. Those Zombrex things. Okay, I'm pretty sure we could probably take it out from here. Can I hit it. Get back. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to get nice and close. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. We've got an open space here. That'll do. Damn it. Why can't I hit it? Okay, fine. We'll get a little bit closer. Ready, 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 ready. There we go. We got it. Chit, 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 chit. All right, you know what? Instead of that van, I'm going to take the sedan. Because it's closer and it's easier. Get out the way. Move, bitch, and get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Which is the theme song for this particular video series. Every single one of my series has kind of like a little theme tune to it. And uh, move, bitch, get out the way seems to be the theme tune to this. Oh, what's up there? Is that a Frank statue? I think that is a Frank statue. I'm going to go and get me a Frank statue. Oh, mannequin. Was there a guy in here? Clear the zombies around Alec. There's some. Um, there's a guy in here somewhere. Where is? Where is Alec? There's Alec. I'm a coming for you, Alec. Don't you worry. In fact, I'm going to use my mighty pole arm to take out the zombies. Okay, the pole arm isn't as effective as I really thought it was going to be. Okay, what about swing attack? There we go. That works. Come on, get out of the way. I'm trying to save a man here. Okay, where is Alec? There's Alec. So obviously we've not killed all the zombies around him yet. We done it? Clear all the zombies around Alec. Done and done. So now how do we get to that Frank statue? Because that was kind of the reason why we came here, wasn't it? Oh, what's he got? He's got a padded blue chair. Da -da dude. No, this is this is just a this is just a restaurant by the looks of things. Okay, so we'll swap out for that. Get our pole arm back. Avoid this zombie and go back to our car. Oh, motorbike! Sold the car. We're going to take a motorbike. A sports bike as well. So this thing should go fast. Um, there was a blueprint up here. And there's also a tragedy. Get out of the way. Okay, where's the blueprint? It's going to be upstairs again, isn't it? It's always upstairs. Why is it never downstairs? <laughs> it's never easy. God. Damn it, game. Why? Why must you make it so hard for me? Okay, there I go. I can see the, I can see the guy. There's a tragedy up there, but I'm not sure how to get on top of this building. Um, I'm not... Wait, possibly. There is a door there that could be the way in. I just got to find a staircase in here somewhere. Is there a staircase? There's going to be no staircase, is there? Hello? Anybody of anybody? I'm trying to look for a staircase. But I can't find a staircase. Am I gonna? I'm gonna. Oh, oh! There's a, there's a staircase. I'm gonna have to do a bit of parkour, but that shouldn't be a problem. Nick seems to be quite good at the old parkour. Okay, maybe not. 
Um, oh, here we go. Has an overpass. The question is, can we jump from here to there? Do you reckon that'll work? No, no. Okay, that's not going to work. That's just almost falling to our doom. Doom! Everyone likes doom. Or baseball bat and a box of nails. We can make the uh, the box of nails baseball bat. Should we make the box of nails baseball bat? Yeah, why not? Wait, why is it not comboing? Oh, is that... Oh, that's not fair. That's a metal one. Okay, maybe not. In that case, I'll take the katana sword back. As a shovel. I say, oh my god, there's a sports car in there. Can I drive these? Oh, please let me drive them. Oh my god, I can. Awesome. Zombie, get off of my car. Oh, why can't I take it that way? Get out the way. Get out of the way. Move it. There's another thing over there. One of those little tannoy systems. There we go. Okay, we made it to the Tannoy system. Now, where is our crossbow? Cannot combo. What do you mean, cannot combo? Why can't I combo? Ah, so I can't combo a sports car and a taxi. That's unfair. <laughs> that would make a marvellous combo. Sports car and a taxi. Right, so what else we got over there? Survival training? Nope, get off. Um, no, I'm going to go get my sports car back. Which does seem to be breaking, but that's okay. Get off my car! Get out of it! Good God! This looks like the way. Okay, we seem to be getting there slowly but surely. Oh, there's two blueprints in there. That is something that I cannot or not ignore. Especially if there's two of them. I'm not sure how to get in there though. Oh, there we go. That's the way in. I think. And that car is officially broken. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure we'll find another one. Oh, wait, maybe not. Let's go around this way. Okay, there's the Frank statue that I was looking for. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Now, where are these blueprints? Is that a blueprint? That is indeed a blueprint. Excellent. The Cuddly Bear. New, blu new blueprint. So wait, am I mixing three things together? So I need to mix the bear and... Actually, let's have a look. So the cuddly bear. Where is it? Cuddly bear, cuddly bear, cuddly bear, cuddly bear. Cuddly bear is there. So it's the freedom bear and the portable stereo. Oh, that's like a double combination. Awesome. So right, I'm going to take the robot bear. And I think I just... Oh, what? Did I just throw my crossbow down there? Nick, you are a fool. It has to be said... You know, we all love you, but you're a bit of a fool. Okay, let's take the LMG. So, combo the Freedom Bear. And then we can make the Boombox Bear. It's, it's like a bear, but it's got a boombox on it. And do we have... Yeah, we have another slot. So, portable stereo. We pick up the... No, that's not the portable stereo. Okay, we got the portable stereo. And combo the bear with the portable stereo. To create the cuddly bear. Even though it is still bloody massive. Jesus, look at that. <laughs> I'm not sure well, you know, what kind of benefit that's gonna give us. Because that is that is just that is just a freedom bear with a boom box on it. Which is which is awesome. I'm not gonna deny it. that's pretty cool, but still. Over we go. Okay, you know, I'm gonna swap out for something else. Um I found a cement saw. So if we have a mallet, we could mix that with a cement saw, but we do not. We have a flare gun, and what's that? Oh, it's a pizza. I think that looks a little bit mouldy, though. No, I'm not. I'm not going to chance my health with a mouldy pizza. We are going to get blueprints in here. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. So what's that? The car bomb. Let's just find out how we make the car bomb. The car bomb is made using the RC car and a grenade. Get back! Come on! There we go. Okay, so RC car. I'll take that. And swap out for the grenade. And combo the car and the grenade. And we create ourselves a car bomb. There we go. The RC car bomb. Fantastic. Is there anything else in here that I can make? There's a leaf blower. 
Um, a pair of trousers. Mariachi pants. No, I do not want to be a mariachi. No. I'm, uh, nothing against mariachis, but, I, you know, I'm not. it's not for me. <laughs> I, I, I don't think the look would suit me, you know what I mean? Not exactly the mariachi type of looking person. Well, that was, that was kind of short-lived of a drive, wasn't it? Get out of the way. Okay. We're getting so close to our destination. I can almost taste it. it tastes like sweat and shame. <laughs> this is a bit of a filthy looking mansion. Oh, even more stuff to make. Why is there a battle axe there? Who is keeping battle axes like this? And there's a bong as well. The giant hookah. Well, I suppose it's not a bong, is it? It's a hookah. Um, shall I do some survival training? What's that? DIY sucker using nothing but combo weapons kill as many zombies as possible in the given time. You know what? I reckon I could do that. I have some pretty decent combo weapons. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, we need to get to the zombies first. Here we go. Okay. Wait, why did you drop that? Why did you drop the car bomb? Ow, get off. Oh, there we go. Okay. How do I control this thing? I don't know how to control this thing. Ah, sod it. Swap out for something else. Let's use this. No, get off. I'm trying to use the freedom bear, damn it. Ow. Get off of me. There we go. That's how you kill zombies. Is it working? Doesn't seem to be working. Sod it, take the freedom bear. I'll be taking you, thank you very much. And I think it's safe to say that we failed this one. <laughs> That's an epic failure. How many kills did we get? We got four kills. So I can't even get 30 kills. Right, there are a lot of zombies down there though. Oh, I got a game clip recorded. Thank you for that, Xbox. You recorded my failure. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to take the freedom bear down there. There's a lot of zombies in the distance. So if I can get there as quickly as possible, we can put down the Freedom Bear or the Boom be Boombox Bear or whatever it's called. And we can take out as many zombies as possible. Okay, let's put that there. There we go. That's one way to get ourselves some kills. Right, should we attract their attention? Hello, zombies. Come on. Come on, this way, this way. Everybody heard to the Freedom Bear. Ow, the Freedom Bear is shooting me, damn it. Stop it! Okay, defend the Freedom Bear. It's the Y attack. Oh, and I didn't even get myself a silver. That's a bit depressing. Okay. Fair enough, I'm going to move on. I'm going to go to the objective. Uh, well, I say the objective. It's a little side mission, but I'm still going to go there. But I am going to swap out for something a little less cumbersome than the uh, Freedom Bear. Or whatever it's called. I still don't know what it's called. I know I know the other one's called the Freedom Bear. I should really look. What was it called? Um, honestly, I don't think it really matters. Hey, buddy. Get out of the way. Oh, fancy sports car. Oh, wait, can I mix these two? Wait, why did you just throw that? What's wrong with you, Nick? It's not what we wanted to do. Okay, I'll take the pole weapon. And we want to... Cannot combo, purchase combo category. Wait, I think I might have enough attributes to purchase the combo category. So, weapons blueprint, food repair, da 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 player, here we go. So that's what we want, combo categories. Sod it. Fantastic. The four, war four wheel small. So can we combine these two? Oh my god, we can. Admittedly, it's only a junk car and we made one of those before, but still. Rock on. That looks pretty awesome. So I'm going to leave that there for when we come out of the mansion, because there's obviously something going on in here. Oh, it's a, actually someone who's living. Hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? Man, you all right? You I am. Man? You want in? We're going to make a movie. And we're going to make millions. He's making porn, isn't he? What kind of movie? Come on. Don't be so naive. 
Look at all the men walking around, right? Even dead, some of them are hot. All what? I need is a few good men. You know what I mean? It's all about the talent. And I know talent when I see it. Good men? You mean like for a... Oh. And he's got it. Blonde, redhead, Asian, Latino. As long as they're dead and they're hot. The wilder, what? the better. Now go get them, kid. Time is money. Okay, are we gonna? Are we making like zombie porn? It's all right. We need we need a hot male on the set. So how do we attract a hot male to the set? I think. Um, I don't get what we need to do here. I think we just need to attract them. So if I can get a cup. Oh, there we go. There's a zombie there. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. This way. This way. This way. This way. Come to the set. Actually, we can probably attract a few more. So there are quite a few of them there. Yeah, here they come. Here come the zombies. They seem to be following me, which is good. Let's go to the set. Let's come, come on, come on, guys. Let's go make some porn. Come on. Aha. <laughs> Hopefully they leave that guy alone and they don't go in that room. Because if they do go in that room, he might die. Okay, that's one hot male zombie on the set. And is that that's two? Awesome. Why are they? Oh, what is the, What are they doing? Yeah, you asked for three. I brought you five. Is that it? Are we we done? I think we're done. This is going to be wild. So did we do it? We did it. That's that was the kind of easy, and a bit weird at the same time, but still kind of easy. And there's a tragedy in the bathtub, which you might as well do while we're here. Oh, it's a poor lady who died in a bathtub. Not sure how and I'm not sure why, but to be honest, I don't really care. Well, it's a zombie apocalypse, you know. I think you need to kind of distance yourself from all the nonsense that's going on, do you know what I mean? Oh, hello. Is there a blueprint there? Um, no, I think that blueprint might be downstairs. You know what? Forget it. We're going to move on. Oh, hello. There's a thingy there. So do I have anything that I can hit it from a distance with? I have the Freedom Bear. I won't really say that's distance shooting, though. Um, wait, I could probably hit this with a pole arm. It's worth a try, at least. Trigger, we can hit it. Nope. Okay, so we can't hit that with a pole arm. But we can hit zombies. Oh, RPG. Now that is a perfect thing to hit that thing with. Come on, zombies. Get back. All I want to do, pick up the RPG. There we go. Ow. Get off. Okay. I'll take the RPG. And I will just... God damn it. They really don't give you any time to think, do they? <laughs> Although, although I, I suppose if they gave you time to think, it kind of wouldn't be a Dead Rising game. Okay, guys, I'm going to end that one there. So thanks for joining me in this episode of Dead Rising 3. I know we didn't really do anything, but that's kind of the thing with this game. You just roam around, kill shit, and blow stuff up, you know, and kill zombies. It's great. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And actually, oh, 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 wait, there's a zombie coming. There's a zombie coming. Shall I kill her now? Or shall I wait? I'm going to kill her with a chainsaw. Hey, baby, how's it going? Wait, why did I throw the chainsaw away? Oh my god, no! Okay, sorry, it. Pole arm. There we go. And let's get back on the car. Because we're safe on top of the car. Actually, let's get on the fire truck. There we go. We're safe on top of the fire truck. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.